Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a quick DIY that I did. I was about to spend near £400 on some abstract art until I decided to try and DIY it myself. The results are amazing and the artwork looks stunning. Not to mention we have saved ourselves hundreds or maybe even thousands of pounds. And on top of that, these canvases are completely customizable to whatever look you want. So stay tuned if you'd like to know how I did this really easy and affordable DIY. Before we get into the video, my channel is all about beauty, home and lifestyle. So if that sounds like content you'll be interested in, I post videos every Sunday and I'd really appreciate it if you could show support to my channel by subscribing. Now let's get on with the video. I have been seeing amazing textured artwork everywhere, but what I don't like is the price tag. So I decided to do a DIY and try it out for myself. And the main ingredient to this artwork is filler. There are quite a few names for this, so you can use Speckle, Spackling, Filler, Plaster, but the brand that I am using is by Ron Sill and it's their Smooth Finish Filler. Buying it already packaged means that you don't have to mix anything together, which makes the DIY process so much easier. Now look at these canvases, they are huge. I got them on Amazon. They are 24 inches by 36 inches and I purchased two. They are also extra thin and lightweight because we are going to be adding so much plaster to these. I didn't want them to just literally launch off the wall if they were too heavy. Getting to the actual DIY was really easy. I wasn't really sure what kind of look that I was going for. I just know that I wanted something textured. I decided to totally freestyle and do whatever came to my mind. I did purchase a set of spatulas as well to help distribute the filler over the canvas. I used an entire pot each canvas to make sure it had a lot of 3D and a lot of texture. But firstly, I started with my hands once I got everything onto the canvas and I did have gloves on during this process. I kind of just smudged it all around to see what kind of look that I was going for. I saw that when I put like lines across the canvas, I really did like that, but it was leaving a lot of finger marks. So I decided to go in with the spatulas that I purchased and do random streaks across the canvas until I was happy with how it looked. And this is why I love the textured art so much is because it's literally a DIY. You can do what you want, how you feel and whatever you feel. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can do whatever you want on your canvas. This is what the finished product looks like. They've been drying for about five minutes or so. I just cleaned up all the mess around here and then propped them up on the table. Let's get a closer look. So this was the first one that I did. I'm so proud of myself. This turned out really, really nice. It seems like the thinner bits are already dry, but these big blobs, they're not dry at all yet, and that's probably for both. I did finish that one first. I'm really considering getting canvas lights for these because I've got my box light up there, and when I turn off the kitchen lights, doesn't that look, wow. <laughs> that looks amazing with like the light at the top which casts a shadow all the way down. So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to invest in some canvas lights. This one looks a little better though, when the light is overhead. Good morning, guys. It's time to go ahead and see the canvas paintings. Hopefully they're dry, because I can't imagine it taking longer than like 24 hours to dry. But, ooh. Let me turn you guys around so you can see it too. I really just can't get over how expensive they look. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a touch. I'm a little bit nervous. Maybe I'll pick one of the chunkiest parts like here. Give it a, I'll give it a little press. Okay, so this is completely dry. 
and I don't think it was a full 24 hours, it was just a little bit under. I brought the canvases to the living room and I'm planning to put them here, right on top of the sofa, that side and that side. To hang them up, I'm just going to use these command strips. You need these in your life if you've never used command strips before, especially if you're renting, no damage to walls. Literally, you can put up anything. the finished look. It took me all of but one day to do this. I am looking into purchasing some frames for these canvases. I did have a look on Etsy and floating canvas frames are about £70 each, which is quite expensive, but I think it will just add to the feel of the art and make it look even more elevated. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this DIY. If you will try this out yourself, let me know down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.